Hello Fox, this is Jeffrey J329 here, about to do my first gameplay of a game I haven't done in my channel. I just bought this yesterday. It's Jeopardy for the PS3. Let's see if I can start a run for this game. Yeah. My two computer players, and here comes Alex Trebek, the host. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Let's take you right now into the Jeopardy round. Here are the categories. $200 to $1,000 in these categories. Zoology. Four words and phrases. Olive oil. Ships. Who's your daddy? And a heraclean effort. All right, let's get back into this. Ready? Player one has control of the board. So I'll have to wonder, please. The giant Pacific this may have as many as 1,600 suckers on its arms. <coughs> they help it to taste and touch. Okay, that's my dog now. Yes. Let's see, player two knows it. Octopus? Yep. Player two, where do we start? Uh, so I'll give it 400. While it doesn't breathe fire, the dragon name for this Indonesian island does kill its prey with its deadly saliva. Yeah. This okay, is a Komodo right dragon. Three. Komodo, yep. Yeah. I'll show you that one. Where do we begin, player three? Zoology for 600. Doggone it, a mud puppy isn't a little doggy, but a large one of these amphibians. That's why I don't know. Here's the correct response. A salamander. Salamander. I don't know what it is. Pick again. Yeah. It's like kind of a type of this sound sounds like a James Clavell novel is Australia's deadliest and most feared. Is it for you? It's for anybody. It's for the three players up there. Let's hear it, player. Three. Rattle? Taipan. Okay. You get to pick again, player three. So I'll just for a thousand. The rare white alligator has a condition called leucism, meaning it lacks this skin pigment. That's why I don't know. Here's the correct response. Melanin. Melanin. What is that? It's a pigment in your skin. We return to you, player three. Olive oil, 200. Most U.S. produced olive oil comes from this state, so watch out, you dancing raisins. That's why I don't know. Okay, player three. Texas. Oh. No. Sorry. Any other Texas? It's not Texas. The correct response is California. California, okay. Please pick again, player three. Ships 200. The submarine USS Nautilus was the first ocean-going vessel to use this form of power. The correct response is nuclear power. Nuclear power. Player three, choose again. Ships for 400. In 1838, the Sirius became the first steamship to cross this ocean using steam power alone. Let's hear it, player two. The Atlantic Ocean? Yeah. Yep. Correct. All right, let's get back into this. Ships for 600. Two has control on a sailing ship. These can be bunt lines, down hauls, or sheets. Mass? Yes, player one. No, it's not mass. Um. Flags? Um, Dex? Nope. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I didn't know it anyway. Incorrect. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Let's hear it, player two. Ropes? Good. Okay. 
Player two, pick a game. Just for 800. Apollo 15's command module was named in honor of this ship, commanded by Captain James Cook. I just fly down now. Here's the correct response. Endeavor. Endeavor. You get to pick again, player Just two. Just for a thousand. Before its name was changed, this ship of Sir Francis Drake was known as the Pelican. It's player three. Golden Hind? Okay. Okay, got a lot to the Four words and phrases for 200. Before a trip, it's proper to wish someone born this, whether they're traveling by ship or not. What is Voyage? Let's hear it, player one. Four words of phrases for one. We continue. In many places of business, no zapatos, no service. Zapatos being Spanish for these. Do you know? It's you know one. It's shoes. You know it's Spanish. That's why. Get out of the hall. <laughs> Four words of phrases for six hundred. Italian for to the tooth. It's how to order your pasta if you want it a little firm. What is al dente? Yes, player one. Okay. You again. Four words of phrases for 800. Seize the day, I tell you, but do it with this Latin phrase. What is carpe diem? It's player one. That's double to second place. Four ways the phrases for one. a thousand. Jimmy will present this clue. Locomotives with a 282 wheel configuration are called this type, an old name for the Emperor of Japan. I don't know this one. Then it's not for you, right? Mm mm. It's for player three or player two. The correct response is Mikado. Mikado. Player one. Olive oil 400. It's pure and delicious. The oil that's the cold pressed result of the first pressing of olives is extra this. What is virgin? It's player one. Yes. Uh, olive oil 600. To you, player one. Here's a pH test. All olive oils are graded in accordance with the degree of this they contain. Lower is better. Do you know? Okay, oh! Acidity? Oh no. Uh, uh, any other takers? I'll try acidity. I'm gonna try acidity. Let's hear it, player one. Yes! Now I'm in the lead. Please pick up one. Oh! They're double. I'm gonna wager only 400. I'm not too sure about it. You are in first place. How much are you going to wager, player one? All right, here's your clue. This Greek dish of lamb marinated in olive oil and spices, grilled and skewered, gets its name from the Greek for skewer. Oh, I forgot. Is it a gyro? Um I don't know. Even so, I'm still in the lead. The correct response. Suvlaki. Suvlaki. Oh, I knew it. it was in my head. I knew it. Player one. So I'll go over for a thousand. Please. This LA area institute's famed olive walk is harvested for olive oil named for the school. That's why I don't know. It's player three. UCLA? No. Anyone else? Here's the correct response. Caltech. Caltech. That's a good name. 
Player one. Pick Who's the daddy 200? 24 star Kiefer. Okay, player Sutherland. one. Sutherland. Okay. Down Sutherland. Um. Who's that for one? Back to you for our next selection. Actress Jamie Lee. Curtis. It's player one. Oops. Jordan Curtis. Curtis <laughs> You can you can do it by the last name. Pick again. Who's your daddy six hundred? Who is Julio Iglesias? Player one? Julio, it's Julio. It's a Spanish name. We return to you. Who's your daddy? Eight hundred. Boxer turned dancer, Layla. Who is Muhammad Ali? It's player one. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Who's your daddy? Four thousand. Tony Award-winning actress, Amanda. Binds. Okay, player three. Christopher Plummer? Oh, okay. For the only reason I would have got her wrong. Hurricula F for 200. This wife of Zeus sent two serpents to kill Hercules as a baby. He strangled them. That's why I don't know. Okay, player three. Hera. Yeah. Okay. He was like red. I don't remember he was red. I saw the movie of it. Okay. Let's get Sarah's red. assistance on Ooh. this one. As one of his labors, do you know the name of the dog now? Do you know the name of it? Beast from Hades. It's a Cerebus. What is a Cerebus? Okay, player one. Not Cerebus. 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 Yes, it's, it's up there. Got it. Yes. Correctly, F600. You stars off. Hercules joined this husband of Medea. For a journey aboard the Argo. Antigone? It's player one. Oops. I don't want that. Uh... Oh no! I read the book, sorry. We're in high school. Okay, player three. See if, uh, player three knows Jason? Okay. Wife of Medea. That's, that's what they said. Regular F-800. literally took the weight of the world off his shoulders when he needed help with some golden apples. Let's hear it, player three. Atlas? Yep. And the last clue for... Finish it off by thousand. dollars. Hercules had to wrestle with one of these creatures that fathered the Minotaur. It's player three. Lion? No. That's an Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Do you know? No. Okay. I didn't watch the whole movie. Okay. It's not based off the movie. It's actually you could say it's based off the movie. For a bull. Bull. Okay, so after the Jeopardy, I'm going to leave with 3,800, player 3 is in second place with 2,000, and player 2 is in second, last place with 400. We're going to move on to the double Jeopardy round, which includes double for 400 and 2,000, and the two-day doubles. Playing, Playing possum. Compound, compound words. Well, I don't compound. Amelia Earhart. 19th century literature. Entertainment, Entertainment history. history, and finally, U.S. U.S. cities. cities. Okay, good That's categories. So, compound words are like two this words that are ago, put together. This Colony Town's Pueblo was chosen as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1992. Okay, do not know that. I'm going to try Santa Fe. Player one. Oh, oh no. What I go for? I'm gonna go for it. I know it for sure. Here's the correct response. Taos. Taos. 
Mm-hmm. You have to say it's 800. All right, here with the clue is Jimmy. If you're feeling a little rocky, run up these stairs to visit this city's museum I don't Benjamin know. Franklin Parkway. Looks like Greece. I think it's Denver, but I'm not sure. Looks like Greece. Yes, player two. Philadelphia? Oh, yep. Select again. U.S. City is for 1,200. Mormons settled this city in 1855, but thought it was too much of a gamble, and abandoned it in 1857. Salt Lake City? Yes, player one. Oh, no, it's not Salt Lake City. Salt? Uh, no. Salt is not even... No. Really, salt is a food! No, 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 I know, I know, I know, no. I thought Salt Lake City would be up there, that's why. I know salt's a food, I know that. Here's the response we were looking for. Las, Las Vegas, Vegas, Nevada. Okay. Oh, I know Las Vegas. Player two, choose again. U.S. City, 1600. This Oklahoma City is known for its Art Deco buildings, including the Phillips Oil Philcade. Let's hear it, player three. Tulsa? <laughs> yep. It looks like Tulsa. Player three, make a selection, please. U.S. City, 2000. Granite works sprung up in and around this state capital using stone from Barre a few miles away. Know. Player two. Concord? Uh, no, it's not Concord, New Hampshire. Nice, that has nothing. Else? I wonder what it is. What does that sound? It's a blind note, Seth. Here's what we were looking for Montpelier. Montpelier. Player three, you pick again. Please. Compound words 400. This aromatic herb of the genus Nepeta will drive your feline crazy. What is catnip? Catnip? What is nip? It's player one. I don't know what is nip. What in the world is catnip? All right. Compound words 300. This player one has control of the board. Swallowtail, Viceroy, and Monarch are types of this insect. What is a butterfly? Oh, yeah, butterfly. We did that in my school. Butterfly. Butterfly. What is butterfly? What is a butterfly? Combat what's for two hundred. again. If you've gone this, you might have said something extreme or fallen from the Queen Mary. Alright, that's why I don't. Oh! What is overboard? Player one? Come on, please. Looking for a needle in one of these is a metaphor for an impossible search. What is a haystack? Player one. I know what is that? It's one. It's that. Needle on a haystack. It's, it's like a say. Oh, uh, come on, what's the two hundred? Player one. In days of yore. Women sometimes rode in this style, meaning both feet on the same flank of the horse. What a saddle stop? Yes, player one. Oh no. No, go back. <coughs> Press D. Oh no. That's it. Side saddle, that's what it was. Um, player one. possum 400. Like wombats and bandicoots, possums are members of this group of about 270 species. Somebody else will take it. I guess. It's not the cat family. Let's hear it, player two. Marsupials, yeah. yeah. Marsupials. I feel like it's bad. Okay, let's get back into this. Player two. Entertainment history of the selection As we born William Claude Dukenfield, he took this last name as his stage name. That's what it is. Ronnie Was Ronnie Dangerfield? No, it's not. Hold on. This last name is a stage name. Dude! <laughs> no, I don't know. Duck? Oh. 
Yeah. What in the world is that? I didn't see that. No, 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 I didn't know. Hazard a guess on this. The correct response is fields. Fields. Oh, okay. I know what a field. Player two, back to you for a selection. Dance style of Brothers and Kennedy Center honorees, Fayard and Harold Nicholas. It's player two. Player two, choose again. And Tammy has to throw Oh, one or two daily doubles. He's gonna wager so up to 1550, you can wager up to 2000. Alright, here's your clue. In vaudeville, Jerry, Helen, Josephine, and George M were the four of these. That's why I don't know. Go hands? Exactly. Yep. Player two. Pick again. Anytime it hits the 1600. Rochester, did you know that in 1953, Harry Shearer played this comic as a boy on his self titled TV program? This one, I don't know. Okay, player two. Jack Benny? Yes. yes. Player two, back to you. All right, tell me history 2000. Kathy Lewis was this title character paired with Fibber McGee on a 50s TV show based on a hit radio show. Why well, don't know. Here's what we were looking for. Molly. Molly. Player two, pick again. Amelia Earhart 400. Amelia's first plane was bright yellow. And named for this songbird. That's why I don't know. That sounds like hummingbird. Let's hear it, player three. Canary, ah. Oh. <laughs> Canaries are yellow, that's why. Should sure figure that one begin, out. Player three. Amelia Earhart for 800. In June of 1928, Amelia became the first woman to fly across this body of water, though she was only a passenger. The Atlantic Ocean? Yes. Oh, she beat me three. to it. Ugh. That's it. I would have been right. That's not it. Player three, you pick again. Amelia Earhart was 1200. In 1935, Amelia flew solo in about 18 hours from Wheeler Field in this state to Oakland, California. That's why I don't know. Yes, player three. New York? No. Uh, it's where we live. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? No. <laughs> But here's the response we were looking for. Hawaii. Hawaii. We return to you, player three. Amelia Earhart for sixteen hundred. <laughs> On her last flight, <coughs> Amelia Earhart took off from this large island. That's why I don't know. Is the S sign for island? It's player yes. two. Weird. New Guinea. What? Yep. Player two, Stardust. Amelia was promised her independence when she married a member of this prominent publishing family. That's why I don't know. Let's hear it, player three. Putnam? <laughs> three categories left. Okay, or two categories left. This, player three, Central you Little Tiffers for one selection is, You'll find whale boats not only in his masterpiece. But also in his story Benito Sereno and his novel Mardi. That's a Spanish talk. That's, it, that's Italian. Mars. Mario! No, no. Mario! Wrong. Sorry, that's... <coughs> Anyone else? I guess meal. Are you still in the lead? Yeah, I'm still winning. No, it's Sp I think it's Spanish. Here's You're right. We're looking for. Herman Melville. Player two. Pick again. Player three. 
Fire 3, back to you for the next Lord's action. Lord's In Uncle Tom's cabin, St. Clair, Tom's master, is killed. Tom is then sold to this brutal know. drunken planter. Okay, we never that. Let's hear it, player three. Did I have Quilp? Oh. No. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? Here is what we wanted. Simon, Simon Legree. Legree. Player three, back to you. Play a possum in Hudson. Chuck Berry knows this sweet little number of days is the typical gestation period of a possum. I don't even know what's possum. Yes, player two. Sixteen? Yeah. yeah. This is the number. Player two, make a selection, please. Play a possum 200. Stick to it. In 1948, this Walt Kelly possum hit the funny pages. Player two. Snoopy? No. Uh, Snoopy's not a possum, he's a dog. Anyone else care to try to come up with a correct response? You know who Snoopy is? The white dog? Charlie Brown? Oh yeah! <laughs> Snoopy? Here is what we wanted. Pogo. Pogo. Who's Pogo? He's a comic Sorry, book possum. Yeah. Play a possum 1600. Australia and New Guinea are home to the five species of this type of possum that may weigh as little as a quarter of an ounce. Well, that's, that's, I could pick that up. It's four pounds. Player two. Pygmy possum? That's right. Oh, he's closing the lead. Choose again. I said look, 200. Oh, he found the other daily double. Dun, dun, dun. How much is he going to wager? 1250, okay. And the daily double clue. What? In Pedro Antonio de Alarcón's The Three Cornered This, a miller thinks his wife is having an affair with a male. Triangle? Hat? You are yeah, down. Got it. Nice and lead. Oh, no. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. The last just... name of the title character of this Thomas Hardy novel is actually one, Derby Field. Derby. I gotta watch my camera. Player three. Test of the double bill? Okay. <laughs> that is a very long thing. Player three, you start us off. Nice to you later, 2000. For 14 years, the Abbe Faria was his fellow prisoner in the Chateau d'If. I'm not old like them and all that stuff. Let's hear it, player two. John Valjean? Oh. No. Oh. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? I don't... Please, I don't know it. Here is what we wanted. Edmund... Emma Dantes. Edmund. And right, the last clue. clue. The flying possum doesn't fly. Well-developed flaps of skin along its flanks have it known by this six-letter term. Do you know? I'll give you a little hint. That's not a hint. Uh... Yeah, I just said six letters. Here's yeah, but I don't know what it is. The glider. Glider. All right. Glider. I will see you all. For all right, we're gonna we're we'll stop here for part one of Final Jump. Is coming next in part two. This is the show business. Bye bye. Okay, stay tuned for part two.